Good morning, CMS. Today is Monday, March 13th. That is right, my friends. It is Mongoose Monday, and it is his time to shine. Now, we are going to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For today's menu, for Monday, we have a hot Italian sub, a pepperoni pizza, a cheeseburger or hamburger, and a chicken ranch wrap. Tomorrow's menu, spaghetti with meatballs, a max cheese quesadilla, chicken corn dog, and a taco salad. There is CHS cheer tryouts, March 22nd at 6.30 p.m. at the high school cafeteria. There will be a meeting. That is right, a meeting that you should go to because it's mandatory. On top of that, April 3rd and 5th from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. There will be clinics and then tryouts will be April 6th starting at 5 p.m. Everything will be held in the high school gym. Make sure to bring water. Ah yes, Miss Petrak. The genre of music that she prefers is pop, positive, and Christian pop songs, 2000 country, and Baroque classica. Classical. Baroque classical. Yes. Can you play any instruments is the question. She says, yes, a violin, fourth grade through 12th grade. Still play today. Piano at age 7 to 13. She was in the middle school orchestra. And the hit song is Champagne Supernova by Oasis. Or use Mbop by Hansen or Barbie Girl by Aqua. Do you enjoy live music? Yes, uh, but I do not do them really anymore. My most memorable was a small chamber music concert of Vilverdi's works in Sainte Capelle in France, Paris, France. Music makes me happy and more positive. That is what she says. Yes, there are still yearbooks for sale. March 24th is the deadline to order. They are $20 each. It is about capturing the memories, my friends. We have this week, Penny War Rules. These are the Penny War Rules. We have Penny Wars from March 13th to the 17th. The pennies will subtract from other people's totals. So do not put the pennies in your own box. Make sure to have nickels, dimes, and quarters and bring them. I think the winning team gets an ice cream party, which is awesome and delicious. I'm a big fan of... Oh! Oh! Yes! Qua! Qua! It's time for Qua! 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 Are you ready for Qua? That's right, Qua! I know you are ready for Qua! I'm ready for Qua! Are you? Qua! Qua! And hey, that is right. Oh boy. The mongoose, the first question the mongoose was going to ask uh, before he was uh, mildly distracted uh, was uh, the Oreo dough is uh, quite good at handles. Uh, I know th my uh, little brother loves it. Uh, I also know that the, the uh, salted caramel. Do you, what type of ice cream do you like? Mint chocolate chip. Oh, the mint chocolate chip classic. I do like a good mint chocolate chip. It is refreshing, and then on top of that, you have wonderful minty breath. Mm -hmm. Of course, the mongoose's breath smells always like roses, just in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> All right, we're going to go into the Mongoose Monday questions. It says, does the mongoose work out? Oh, without a doubt that the mongoose works out. I know there's also a couple of questions in there with how much can the mongoose bench and the mongoose likes to keep it pretty light. Uh, 225 is the most the mongoose will ever do and he's okay with that. The next one, we're gonna fly through these today. Can you shave? Yes, the mongoose, surprisingly, he shaves every day. He even shaves his 
a spectacular mustache, but it grows back within five minutes. So this is what it always will look like. The mongoose has found that out through experience. Can you do the worm? Now that is a great question for the mongoose. The mongoose, actually, he used to be able to do the worm. But then, that's when he was uh, 20 pounds uh, younger. When, when he was 20 pounds younger, the, the mongoose liked to bust out the worm at dance parties. But, unfortunately, the mongoose kind of tweaked his lower back. So, no, the mongoose does not want to even try that anymore. Uh, another one is, are you cool? Is that really a question? <laughs> and the last one is this. It says... Pokemon. It's a Pokemon ball, apparently, and it says flip. Oh. What is your favorite food? Oh, that is a wonderful question for the mongoose. The mongoose, he has eaten a lot of interesting delicacies. Uh, the one that the mongoose uh, really enjoys is a good surf and turf. You know, he likes a, a little filet mignon and a little lobster. Uh, that is always a good combination for uh, the mongoose. Those were wonderful questions. Keep them coming, my friends, and just keep putting them in the hat you have right here. Oh, the next we have, oh, can the mongoose. That's actually spelled incorrectly. It says, wait, yes, that is CTM, not CMT. Can mongoose da? That is not can mongoose da. It is can the mongoose. Uh, that is okay. Uh, but uh, what we're going to uh, do today, it's a, it's a good one. It's a good trick shot uh, that was actually filmed live in a live studio audience, I might add. Uh, it actually took the mongoose five tries to do this. Enjoy. That's what I'm talking about. All right, everyone, and welcome to another episode of CTM. Uh, today, I had a question. It was, Mr. Mongoose, can you make any type of trick shots in your art classroom? And the answer is, the mongoose can. The first one he's going to do is he's going to take this eraser, and he's going to throw it in the eraser jar across the room. That is a small target. I know what you're thinking. But it is his time to shine. That is right, the mongoose can. It is that easy for the mongoose. All right, everybody, we're back. It is pretty fun. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that one. Show your cult pride. Be responsible, be respectful, and of course, be safe, my friends. Have a wonderful Monday. <laughs>